This is a picture of the Acorn Area yoke with the cassette assembly installed. I'm viewing it from the front closest to the blue LED. You'll see that there are three screws here, here, and here located on the inside circle of this yoke which are used to hold the cassette in place. These screws right here you should not touch. They're used to adjust the uniformity of the magnetic field uh, in which the, the cassette is placed. This is a view of the yoke assembly from the back of the instrument. On the back you see you don't have any magnet, magnetic field adjusting screws. You just have the three cassette locating screws. One of the things I'd like to draw your attention to is the gap between the cassette and the pole piece. You'll notice that the gap in here is large. In a minute I'll show you a view from the opposite side and you'll see that the cassette is not located in the center between the magnetic pole pieces but it is adjusted at a position that's dependent on the uniformity of the magnetic field. That's different for each yoke and cassette assembly. You can see from this top view that the space between the magnet pole piece and the cassette on this side is smaller than the space on this side. As I mentioned before, the best position for the cassette isn't always between the two pole pieces. So just to reiterate, to remove the cassette or to tighten the cassette, you want to adjust these three screws. Never touch these screws. So you adjust these three screws, inside screws, by moving the cassette. Now in general you shouldn't have to adjust the screws in the back. You should only adjust them if you're instructed to by an Exago representative. Typically if the cassette is loose, simply retightening these screws will secure the cassette and maximize the signal. If you do have to adjust these screws, you should loosen the lock nuts first and then manually move the cassette around while doing an FID time series test with the verification liquid so you can see at what position the signal is maximized from the cassette. Once you've found that position, you gently adjust the screws on both sides so that the cassette is secure, however, not under undue stress, and the FID is maximized. 